All right, if you're looking for a tutorial on how to mine Zcash from a Windows machine with a NVIDIA graphics card, this is that tutorial because I'm going to go straight into it without a long, obnoxious introduction. First and foremost, you need a Zcash address. I use Jax as my wallet. You can use whatever you want. Um, I just find Jax in general to be a nice easy one to use as well as it allows me to have multiple addresses all in the same wallet. I'm not going to go into how to set up a wallet. Uh, there are plenty of tutorials out there and I might do one at some point too. But right now the thing that you need to come from this is having a Zcash address. From there go to nanopool.org. I'll post the link to this below. When you're on nanopool.org, you want the Zcash one here on the lower left. Simply click Quick Start. Don't go straight to this Download Miner. Notice it's going to download the wrong one. What you want to do is go to Start Mining. And then when you're here, you want to click on the Help option on the top menu. And then from Help, you want to go to Mining Clients. Under Mining Clients, you're going to have multiple options. Uh, the two I've used and think work fine are the Excavator one and the EWBF. Uh, I haven't played with the other ones. I have a feeling they're all more or less the same. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use the EWBF one. From there, you click Download. Don't click the first option. Notice that's a Linux. Click the second one, which is going to be your, uh, in this case, 0.3.4b. It might be updated to something else by the time that you watch this video. You want to select that. At some point, you might get an error with whatever virus protection you're using. I've already cleared mine, so that's why I'm not getting it now. But uh, if you do, it's because more or less all cryptocurrency miners get flagged as by, the, by your antivirus software, basically. Anyway, so I've downloaded mine and went to my Downloads folder. You simply just need to extract the, the zip file. Once you do, I'm going to take all of those extracted files. You don't have to do this. You can run it straight from your download if you want. And I'm going to move them into a folder that I've set up for my various cryptocurrency experiments. And I'm going to label this one as Zcash. And I'm going to paste all of those into there. Once again, you don't have to do that step. You can run it, you can do it straight from the download or your desktop, wherever it is. Now what you want is this one called the start.bat. You right click on that, click edit, and it's going to pull up a notepad. This is what you want, is this user address. In there, you're going to paste your Zcash address, whatever it is. You are more than welcome to paste mine in there if you want, so that way I get uh, your cryptocurrency. If you want, don't want to do that, paste yours in. Make sure you keep the dot after the address. Your working name and email is going to give in an option to uh, notify you if you want. Uh, I would recommend changing the your worker name. You don't have to. In my case, I'm just going to change it to uh, my name and then 234. And I'm going to leave the email blank. I don't really care too much about that. Oops. Hit save. It is now saved. Then go back and just double click on it. And it's going to start running. So notice here, it is now running that script. So I'm going to give it a couple of minutes, and we will come back. And we're back. I've let it run for a few minutes here to collect up some data. If you notice, I now have my soul rate, which is 165, 167, 168, so probably lower 160s. So let's, let's just say I'm averaging 165, which is uh, kind of a small number, but it's... Uh, well, the graphics card is over a year old, so in computer worlds, that's ancient. Jump back to nanopool.org, go to Overview. From there, on the upper right, you'll see this address field. Paste in your Zcash address, 
and now we should have some data in here. This is how you can verify that everything is working. On the lower portion of the page, you can see I've got my username in green. There's another one here in red. That's one that I was using when I was testing this out earlier. This is why, of course, it's also useful to have a username so that you can uh, track what's going with what if you, maybe you're trying this on multiple computers or something. I've got my Zcash address up here. And the other thing that I want to show you here is the settings field. You can change your minimum payout if you want. By default, it's 0 0.01. You can raise that all the way up to 10. I'm just going to leave it on the default. Now I know it's working. If you go to this page right after setting this up and it says that it can't find your address, give it a few more minutes. It could simply be that um, it's not uh, it's not uh, caught up yet. Also, you want to make sure that you it looks like this. If you're getting some type of an error, check your uh, antivirus program. That could be preventing it from working. Uh, otherwise, I'm not too sure. I'm not an expert on this. Uh, I'm just kind of playing around with cryptocurrency and sharing that information with you guys. Last thing I'm going to show you is to see if I'm actually making any money. Go to Cryptocurrency Compare. On Cryptocurrency Compare, at the top, you want to select Mining and Calculators. From there, you're going to select whatever currency you're using. In this case, we're using Zcash. We want ZEC. My hashing power is 165. Uh, you can enter your power consumption, your cost per kilowatt, if you know what that is. In this case, since I don't know what it is, I'm putting zero. And if I'm not paying for power, which obviously everyone is, I would be making 30 cents a day, $2 a week, nine a month and 110 a year and now that is under the assumption of course that I'm letting this run constantly 24 hours a day which I am not also let's take a look at what I'm spending on power I have no idea what my cost per kilowatt hour is let's say it's 0.12 well then I'm losing money because uh, I'm spending more on electricity than I am making from doing this so it is important to figure out your cost per kilowatt hour, check your utility bill, or there are actually meters that you can get that you plug into your outlet and that will measure that for you as well. Anyway, hope this video was helpful and reasonably quick. Have a nice day.